Highlighting the importance of skilling, ACFI recently organized a thought-provoking session in New Delhi. We have been trying to skill people when it comes to the government policies. So we are trying that the officers are well aware of all the policy actions which are there. We are trying to interact with the you know uh, ground level where the last person who will be doing or executing a policy action, that person should be aware of it. Whether it is PM Gati Shakti as a topic or whether it is national logistic policy who has been working on it. We also worked extensively with Logistics Skill Council and MSD as a ministry where we talked about starting courses. Air cargo contributed roughly around 52 billion worth of goods that we exported. So air cargo is a huge share of roughly around 12%. If we look at the present targets and the, what the targets that uh, our Honorable Minister has envisaged, he is envisaging a 2 trillion exports by 2030 with equal uh, exports from the merchandise segment and 1 trillion from the uh, services segment. So we can, uh, if we achieve those targets even partially, we can see, we can foresee that our air exports will increase from 52 billion to over 100 billion by 2030. So broadly speaking, we will require the skilled man force at all levels. When uh, skill development is done right, you know, you can reduce unemployment, underemployment, increase productivity, improve standards of living, and investing in upskilling and reskilling people for jobs of the future makes a lot of economic sense as well. Skill development uh, programs, you know, take us one step ahead of the traditional, you know, the educational stream, so to say. Uh, it can be considered more like a streamlined approach uh, towards a desired career or a goal or people doing better at what they're doing. Managing Director of Hans Informatic foresees more adaptation of technology advancement soon. Industry as such has in the past couple of years has made huge strides in adopting technology. Uh, now people after the Covid uh, episode, people have realized that uh, uh, technology can help them a lot of challenges which they face while uh, moving cargo without the humans being present over there. So that can be done only through technology. So we are seeing more and more uh, attraction in this front. When there are new ports coming up, the new ports, whichever they come, they would like to have it based on technology because they would like to have less hiring, less manpower, more automation. So they become a, now a competitor to the established ports, which is now pushing them to uh, get into the technology bandwagon. And we'll see a lot of things coming in next. Uh, one year will be the, you know, what we have launch pad for all of these ports to be on that platform. That's what we hope to see that. With more developed flexible solutions for the pharmaceutical and medical consignments in various categories, Turkish Cargo has launched three new pharma products to cater to global market needs.